What's up, YouTube? It's been his potential. I know I tell promised y'all February, but I stay in North Carolina. And if you know North Carolina, everybody charged so much fucking money for their cars. I was looking at Monte Carlos, Chevys. Hell, I even looked at an old Mercury, you know what I'm saying? But they were talking $3,000 for a rolling chassis and shit like that. I said, fuck it. So what I did is I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found one. Some old guy had a, a nice little car up there. I'm about to show y'all it right now. Tell me if y'all can guess what it is. By the end of the video, I'll show y'all what it is. No, I can't tell. Can't tell what that is. No. Well, hold your thoughts. Because I'm about to reveal it right now. That's right. 1976 Monte Carlo. I mean, shit. I said Monte Carlo. 1976 Malibu Classic. It's a big ass project. There's a lot I gotta do to it. I'm talking fucking Hurricane Katrina did this damage. Fucking shed fell on it. The inside is just fucking brittle. Brittle as hell. See what I'm saying? Don't mind my tools. I've just been working on like the gas tank and stuff. I got to do all the interior, but I plan on doing fiberglass. Let me go around to the other side so y'all can get a better look. It don't matter. That shit's outdated anyway. And it's not mine either. This is the, uh, the driver's side. I gotta do some work to body work to that right there. It's a dent to there. I mean, it got a little rust on it, but nothing major. With like, it's still solid, as you see. I could easily grind that out and fucking do a little better draw, you know, on the paint when I do body work. That door, that door has got it's, it's together, but. I'm doing fiberglass shit. I'm gonna use that as the um, the base. I got the the back pan, the yeah, the panel for that door in the back. I got the window wrapped up for that window because it's like got shattered when the fucking shed fell on it. The headliner, I'm gonna redo that. The floors. It rusted as fuck. I gotta get a new fucking floor pan for it. It did come with some goodies. That CD player is going to the fucking trash. That's like from 1980. But it did come with some tacks. They're so probably gonna replace those because they look like they're fucking old as dirt. But let's take you under the hood. This is the reason why I got this car in the first place. You know, I paid $500 for this car. It got all the trim work. There's like barely any fucking body, like, rust. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything is solid all the way up underneath. Like, everything. There's not one fucking rust spot on the body. Besides the parts that got, you know, damaged. The hood, hood is pretty good. Look at this fucking mess. So far, I'm trying to do the AC. I had to reconnect those lines. They were all to the original body. But the guy that owned it put this in. It was off of a Yukon, 09 Yukon. And these adapters, like, bent down and it just wouldn't fit. The fittings fit. 
but not this thing so I went to the junkyard and got another one and uh, I'm gonna show y'all that later in a later video of how I piece that shit together if that don't work then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and just order it but it came with a MSD it came with this fuel pump but I went ahead and put some filters on there and ran the gas tank and uh, ran it to the gas tank also in the gas tank I bought a new set for sending unit I didn't make a video of that. I just got happy because fucking eBay actually set me apart like four days early. But this thing is pretty fucking clean. It's the Elder Brock in intake. Um, the ho these hoses are ran. This is a really old distributor. What I'm gonna have to do is pull that cap off and run it to the MSD. These wires are different colors, though, so that's really fucking got me, like, nervous. If this one is purple, yeah, purple and green. So, yeah, I know this one, this this side runs to the fucking distributor. And this is the power wire and ground. And it's a white wire under there today. Basically, it's a lot of wiring I have to do. You see this shit? I don't know what half of these wires are. I'm going to have to fucking trace them all the way back to the fuse box to see what they are. I got a diagram. Like, he just got wires just, like, fucking ripped everywhere. This alternator, I have to get the fucking uh, connector for the this because this is a two-prong. And if you can look in there, this is a three-prong. So I'm going to have to change that fucking wire out. Um... It didn't come with a battery. Yeah. It's a heap of pile of shit. But I'm gonna get a... Um, a Elder Brock 650 CFM carburetor for it. Um, what he told me is... They basically rebuilt that engine. They had it running for a little bit. But it'll go down the street. And then start sputtering and shit. So I think it has something to do with the fuel... The, fuel, the way they ran the fuel system. Because... I bet you any money, that's where he had it at. He had it, like, literally there, but I bet you any money, that's supposed to be gravity-fed. I tested it, it works, but I'm, and like, I'm not sure if it's, you know, it pumped the gas because it was just, like, at a straight level. But where that is and where the tank is, when I tell you, that thing, I bet, is gravity-fed. Um, I ran new line. All the way across to my fuel pump regulator. I actually actually got a fuel pump regulator from eBay as well. Um, this thing is brand new. I haven't even hooked everything up yet, my return or anything. But I just ran that to see, you know, see if I can do these. Because the, the, the braided line that they gave me, as soon as I go to put that thing on, it just started, like, opening up. So I figured that was eBay trash. You know, you get these knockoff things. Everything isn't 100% legit. So, but I also ran one to this because I'm thinking about doing the return. I'm not sure if I should run the return from the carburetor to the regulator, or should I run it from the carburetor to the filter, out the filter, back into the engine i i'm i'm debating i have to get some more holes because the holes i got was three eighths and the uh, um the holes i need for this is like five sixteenths or something this was way smaller than the holes that i got if you can see that it's like way smaller but um yeah i need help with this engine and uh the wiring My plans for the tires. Hey, mommy. The plans I have for the tires. I plan on doing a dunk build. Yeah, you heard me. A dunk build. But it's going to have a 350 in it, so I might be able to dunk drag it. You know what I'm saying? Take it to the drag strip and stuff. It all depends on what I do with the engine. Like I told y'all in my older videos, I am building a LS engine. But it's not all the way done yet. 
And when I bought this, I said, well, if it only need a carburetor, I might as well go ahead and try to get this running and see if it runs. If it runs, then I'll get everything running in order to get it to the paint shop and my interior stuff done. And, you know, just all the cosmetics and stuff. And then I'll, you know, rip the engine out, do the engine bay paint and everything like that. I mean, it, it's a it's a pile. I'm not even going to lie. I know it's a pile. Y'all ain't got to be in my comments talk about how this car is trash don't even waste my time or whatever but that's the whole point you know what i'm saying i want to learn to build for myself it doesn't have any major stuff that i have to like cut out and replace other than the floor pans like all, all the way from all the way underneath the, the the frame and everything is solid there's no rust on the frame nothing but back to the tires these old chevys have the swing arm i think it, all them bushings are pretty much ate up and stuff so i think i'm gonna go ahead and order a lift kit like a truck lift kit and install the truck lift kit on here so that way i can do it legit instead of just putting the spacers on there the little you know them little things to lift the springs up to make it higher i'm actually put a lift kit on here so that way it can sit the way i want it to windshield windshield ain't busted out the, this is the only window that's busted out and that's my issue I don't know how to take those things off the the little metal pieces off the window I'm gonna have to like soak them in WD-40 and stuff to get those off back window is intact not to mention that in here I have the back seats in my trunk I got the back seats and the previous owner did the back seat uh the back trunk already the floor pan because he said it was rusted but uh if i go underneath you can see i cleaned out and spray painted the gas tank with the undercoating rubber stuff it didn't come out too well because i was scraping it across the ground trying to put it back in but like you see like this little surface rust and stuff it's nothing that's actually like this stuff is still solid it's nothing that's actually poking through like big holes and stuff um as far as that if i do do the drag i'm probably gonna weld that up yeah and i have my sending unit as well in there i can't let me see if i can get up in there and show you guys It's a little dark, so you can't really see. But yeah, I replaced the center unit inside the tank as well. Those springs gotta go, shocks gotta go. And pretty much all that rust is from the body. I mean, the floor pans, which I plan on replacing. Well, that's my project car, y'all. 1976 Malibu Classic. Let me know in my comments what y'all think. And if y'all got some expertise in doing dunks and y'all in the Fayetteville area, hit me up. Peace. So, yeah, that's my whip. Um, here goes some pictures of how I want it to be.